Ufer the fourth, the last Kiteli, kingmaker and supreme head of the Matia Bonase quarter of La. Right. We want our viewers to have a fair idea of what this quarter is all about. History has it that um, the Matia Bonase quarter, or its people, were the first to settle in La. Their leader or the founder of the quarter was the first um, Lash Kiteli by name Ni Ajay Kofe, the first. History has it that uh, during the migration to the present location, uh, he came ahead of um, the La people, which uh, group was known as um, Wadoku when they were coming to the present location. He was the first to settle before the others uh, joined. Tell us the origin or how the term Shikitele came about. And I'm placing emphasis on Shikitele, not kingmaker, because within a traditional setting or when using the gun proper, then uh, people do not really appreciate the origin. So it would be better if you set the record straight on the name. Yes, um, the name um, Shikitele, um, what uh, has been um, proven uh, by research is that in ancient time, it was a position that was instituted to check or override the powers of the Jase, to even veto the powers of the Jase. Uh, we have a um, document to that effect. Uh, I will provide you um, with a copy of the document um, to show you. So that is the origin. Uh, in ancient times, it was a position that um, was used to check the powers of the Jase, and they had the power to override or veto um, decisions of um, the Jase. So that has uh, transformed um, into the kingmakership um, position in La. Okay. I find this interesting because in other Ga states, we have uh, Osu, Gamashi, Tema, Nungwa, you find perhaps to some extent equivalent of the Shikitele being the Jasich. And I said to some extent because it doesn't then rightly explain what the Shikitele really is as you've explained. It's only in La and by extension then Teshi and Teshi came out of La so it is understanding. But some people have also asserted that Shikitele, contrary to what you have stated, is rather to mean or to wait secretary, Shikiteli. Which should we believe? Secretary being adulterated to mean Shikiteli or as you've explained? We have no um, evidence uh, historically that um, any Shikiteli has acted uh, as secretary. Um, people do say that, that it is the corruption of the Portuguese word for um, secretary. We know the Portuguese word for secretary as secretario, which doesn't even rhyme with um, um, Shikitele. Uh, I don't even know how come it uh, got corrupted uh, to Shikitele, but there is no evidence of any Shikitele having been um, a secretary. Um, the position of Shikitele uh, has been in existence for centuries, and uh, we know um, the level of our development then. Can you even imagine? Um, a shikiteli or a secretary by then having to learn Portuguese and um, acting as secretary for Majin at the time. I mean, that is uh, very, very unfounded, though people do say it. But we in the Matia Bonase quarter have researched very well on our position, and we know that that uh, ascription to the uh, shikiteli as a secretary is unfounded. Could it be that probably before the name came about, the original duty was then to serve as secretary to the elders, which has then transformed into the current position as it is, because situation evolved. That is why I said there is no shred of evidence for any Shikiteli having served as a secretary to any manche. Uh, those who usually say that, we've challenged them several times to bring evidence that a Shikiteli has ever acted as um, a secretary to any manche in La or elsewhere in the Gan State, but nobody has been able to prove that. He, um, I'm in my seat here. Yeah, June. Um, 30th will be the city of my um, installation. Are there some achievements to show for? Yes. Um, uh, previously, uh, before coming into office, 
Um, decisions were not that democratic. Um, there was a form of autocratic rule by um, a few people, though the elders were supposed to be part. Um, when I came, what I said was, um, aside the Cortes General Meeting, there should be a forum for the elders because the general meeting comprises reps from the houses. So we should have another forum for the elders and some um, key reps from the houses. So we instituted that meeting uh, aside the Cortes General Meeting. So everybody, any decision that we take, uh, we deliberate and um, take people's views before we take um, a decision uh, on that. So the running of the court administratively, I think I have brought some improvement um, um, to that. Um, in La, um, I will leave that for you to do your own research. I wouldn't want to say um, what, um, what I have done. Um, the La people will be the best people to tell you what um, um, uh, I have done since uh, my installation. Uh, I, am, I am a native of La and I don't know. And I would appreciate if you let me know. Uh, you are singular. Um, you don't know maybe because um, you don't uh, come here often. So um, I will leave, leave that um, to the people of La. I'm not alone. I'm a journalist and I deal with the people on daily basis. And it is not even for the people to say because mm -hmm. Ghanaians are watching uh, you I and you, would I appreciate if we, we know. I would to sound like uh, blowing my own horns. It wouldn't be. Um, it would as, be to even part, acknowledge your part, effort. As part of my uh, fifth um, anniversary celebration, um, I built um, a canteen for um, uh, the La Presby uh, Senior High School, known as La Presec, of which I am a board member. Uh, what touched me most was uh, the condition of um, their canteen or where they eat. Um, very, very, it was in ramshackles, uh, which uh, wasn't good uh, for people um, to use. So that touched me, and we brought down that ramshackle uh, shed and then uh, built a canteen. Uh, for them. So with that, um, uh, I can uh, attest to that. In the before you, you move on to another issue, I want us to stay on the La Prisec issue a bit because some concerned citizens mentioned that the state of La Prisec in recent times could even be described as an indictment on your leadership, not you per se, but together with the other leaders of La. Because even at a point, the students were sitting on blocks, cement blocks to study and uh, even as the board member to to have gone in to construct a canteen when facility, many facilities were lacking in the school you did little really to see um uh, that uh i'll call subjective um that can be people's opinion but as i said what moved me was what i saw um, um at the time uh, you didn't see at the time we had that some no, of the students were sitting under sheds time, to study. At the time, we had no information as a board that um, uh, there were needs for this. As I told you, all the structures needed facelifts. They had challenges. But what uh, was very present, if you look at the shed that they were sitting under by then, after I'll show you pictures of that, even if there is a wind, and uh, some of the roofings um, tear apart. It can be, uh, it can cause uh, uh, havoc. So um, you might call it um, little. Uh, I did what I can, as I said. Um, people um, should judge. But the desk issue came after the um, institution of of um, the free um, SH, uh, SHS. The board. Uh, chaired by Professor Irene Dote, we did our best before school reopened. We called a board meeting, an emergency one, to assess the situation as to whether we are ready for that. No such information uh, came that uh, we had inadequate desk to um, uh, accommodate people. So we were surprised when, uh, after students have been admitted, that uh, that uh, came out. Um, uh, our board meetings, um, things that transpired, I shouldn't say it, but there's a little, um, uh, I will say, that though there are challenges, uh, not all the challenges uh, uh, were made uh, known um, to us. You know, the board is not constantly on the ground. So we rely on 
people there uh, uh, for information. So if we don't have that information, uh, there might be little that we can do. The, the school still needs a lot. My last question on it, then we move on. What exactly is the board doing about it in terms of infrastructure, in terms of even raising the uh, study standard in the school? Because yearly, I'm a product of LAPRISEC, and yearly the results as compared to other schools are abysmal, really. Yes, um, uh, with the initiative of the board chair, uh, we are working on a strategic plan, um, a holistic one that will take care of um, everything from infrastructure to um, uh, academics, uh, extracurricular activities. But in the meantime, uh, the board chair herself and um, uh, all of us have been soliciting for help. Um, from people and organizations as to what uh, they can do um, to help uh, with the with the uh, performance uh, we have discussed that um, there were some issues um, some of the things that we uh, found out that uh, were causing the bad or abysmal performance which uh, we will um, address so the board uh, has not sat down on the issues there uh, as I said the board chair uh, is working hard. All um, other members of the board are also working hard uh, to make La Presec uh, better. Are there timelines to some of these you've mentioned so that in some time to come we could meet up again and then uh, track what exactly we've stated here? And there are so many institutions, uh, corporate bodies within La. So the issue of La Presec shouldn't really be much of a problem. We should even take much time. So, one, timelines. Two, how to really mobilize the resources from those working on the land of law. Yeah, as I said, uh, we are working on a strategic plan. Once the plan uh, is set, the timelines will be incorporated in the plan and uh, how funds will be um, generated uh, will also be um, uh, incorporated. That is how the plan will be executed. Will so be not that the strategic plan has no. been... It plan, is not, but it is in the process ready. of creating it. Yes, it is not ready now. So once that is ready, then we can talk about um, um, timelines. But uh, as uh, I said, in the interim, we are doing our best uh, to source for uh, assistance from wherever we can get to address uh, some of the issues. Um, we've gotten people who have helped. Uh, Magdan Shipping donated some desk. Um, um, the uh, municipal assembly also donated some, so we are in touch with uh, people trying to address the issues. You were mentioning about other achievements during your six-year uh, reign. Kindly continue. Um, I've mentioned uh, that um, in the administration of La, I wouldn't want it to sound like I am blowing my own, so I'll. Uh, through that you as a research uh, topic. It's, it's just okay. I don't think it would be it would be seen as such. In the process, because you, you've mentioned the La Presec issue, but for the fact that you mentioned it, I wouldn't know. There are many others who wouldn't know that at least you've done something to solve an educational problem. Because the perception is that usually our traditional rulers aren't doing much. So if you are doing good for your people, let us know and then appreciate your effort. Okay, um, what I would say is um, I, I have uh, helped to transform the administration uh, of LA, trying uh, to make sure we do things in the right manner uh, to the extent that uh, Nila will always say, I say Bejianoto, so he calls me um, Bejianoto. He's making, um, causing improvements in the way things um, um, are done. You are a key member of the traditional council. And we know that there are some universities on the land of La. How are the quota systems? Are there even quota systems at all for La natives to gain admission in, let's say, University of Ghana? Because I am not seeing such things happening. Happening? Are there quotas for our people? Because there are many youngsters in La who are struggling to make it to universities or to even uh, sustain them in their schools. How are the quotas being managed? Um, I wouldn't call it a quota, but they give us a sort of a concession. That's what they do, give us that. Um, our people who qualify, who either 
might find it very difficult to um, enter should they go through the right process um, are considered and given admission. That is run by the um, traditional council. So when the time comes, um, information is uh, sent out um, to the quarters. So those uh, whose kids have qualified uh, can bring their resource slips and we work on that and they gain admission. But we don't have any formalized or structured uh, quota system that uh, we are giving you this number of slots, this number of people are going to do such courses. Uh, we don't have uh, something like that. We've raised it on several occasions because um, the land given for the university, it's not um, a small land. And looking at the number of years for which it has been given, uh, I think uh, LA deserves a better deal from, from the university. So it's something that we've raised and uh, we will still keep uh, pushing. We even uh, want a chair on the board. I mean, there is, there is, there is, it is understandable that uh, LA should part with such land for the university and we have no say in even the uh, management. You know, that is, that is very unfair to us. So it's something that uh, we will push. Some of the youth uh, groups have also taken that on. So we'll work for the quota, but we have UPSA a sort of... UPSA is also on LA. LA. Yeah, UPSA Gimpa. Gimpa, UPSA, they are all on uh, La Lunch. Me, a key issue we are coming down to Matia Bonasi. We know that you own acres of land, that is the quarter. Are you selling the land? Um, I, I have not uh, witnessed any selling of land um, since I took over. Yes, um, usually lands are not sold um, um, outright. Um, they are, leasing. Yeah, they are leased, and uh, once they are leased, um, what comes out of it um, is uh, managed by the quarter for the running um, um, of the quarter. So how has it been managed? Um, the previous regime, um, I took office and it didn't last and we started having the issues. So um, largely, they, they, were in charge of, um, they were in charge of affairs, right? Uh, for now, as I told you, we've not um, given out um, any um, grants uh, to have something substantial for the margin. But when it comes with me, uh, we have to invest it properly. My plan to is anything that... You haven't that given out even a plot of land? Um, yeah. Leased out ever since you, you took office? No, no, no. I have not signed um, any lease document uh, for... We've not done um, any ground to do. We've picked information that the, the, the Africa Unity League has been given out by your outfit. How true? Um, 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 I can confirm that uh, we uh, we hoarded it. It's been hoarded world Ple for good reasons. All right. And um, to be frank with you, uh, we have not uh, sold it, concluded any deal with um, anybody. Was it that you were in the process of or you are in the process of giving it out and you we haven't... Will, we will, we will, we will uh, manage it for the benefit of the um, quarter. But to tell you, as we speak now, we've not concluded any deal with anyone on that. I have not sold it. Okay. And we know that behind the trade fair, Chado, the, the, the Matia Bonasi quarter owns much of the lands. Years back, it was place for your people to farm and all that, but it's now been turned into a concrete city. Much of the land there has been sold out. Where are the proceeds? How have they been managed? Being managed by a body that was set up called the East Dari Kotopon Development Trust, which is a body that came about as a result of a dispute between the last two, the Matia Bonanse Kota and then the Leishi Kota. And uh, to resolve that um, dispute, there was uh, an out of court um, settlement that um, a trust should be formed to manage it with um, the last two and then the traditional council um, owning 10%, uh, Matia Bonase quarter 25%, and the Leshi quarter also 25%, and then 50% um, uh, should be allocated to uh, the La, 40% uh, yeah, to the La um, uh, Education and Development uh, Fund. So um, the parties, that is the last two, stroke the traditional council, was to appoint four people. 
the Matia Bonanza quarter to appoint four people. They managed there and they were they are supposed to account um, uh, to their settlers and the people of land. Okay. Um, so anything that is given out there um, should should um, be under their management. Unfortunately, there were issues as regards the management. So um, we took steps uh, to remove the people or those who purported to be trustees at the time. And um, they took us to court that we don't have the mandate to do that. Uh, we won the case uh, that they lack the capacity uh, to do that. We've sent um, new people there who are managing. Okay. So I think the previous people uh, should be able to answer questions on um, the management and where the proceeds uh, of the land uh, went. Uh, we are trying to um, manage or monitor our new folks so that um, things uh, do not go wrong as it went um, in the past. Which house would provide a candidate to succeed Nila in due course? We have two quarters that provide La Manche. That is the Kwe quarter and the Abese quarter. Uh, as to who will provide the next La Manche, um, I wouldn't want to go into that. I will tell you when we get to the bridge. So. It is best we know this because people have said that this has been the problem of Game because this should be a common knowledge to the people. In Gamashi, we know that there are four houses. From here, it moves to here. Why should this be a difficulty for us? Uh, can you tell me that of Gamashi, where, where it moves from, the four houses, from which house to which house? Well, for now, we know that it is the 10, it, it, it moved from near Mugiwe, and now it is the 10 of Abu Lapiamwe. That is a common knowledge to all the people, but we should be able to know that of La. Um, I wouldn't want to go into that. As I said, we have two rolling quarters. When we get to the bridge, we will cross. Can I conveniently conclude that La is sitting on a time bomb waiting to explode? Because inevitably, we are human and we may leave this earth one day. Should it be that Nila uh, well, leaves the scene, we may encounter chieftains disputing La, like the other gun states? Because as of now, we don't know which house would succeed him or would provide a candidate to succeed him. I can assure you um, there are structures to ensure that nothing would explode. Um, time passed when things like that happen. Uh, it has been resolved. So we are not sitting on a time bomb at all. I'm telling you, when we get to the bridge, we will cross it. We don't have a structure. And I'm asking you because you are the kingmaker. So, Ni, you should be able to help us out. Being the kingmaker, that is the main reason why I don't want to preempt anything. And I'm telling you, when we get to the bridge, we will cross. Are there undercurrents such that if you come out and mention that it is the turn of this house, we may see chaos in La, for which you are being silent on this? No, I can't say whether there are any undercurrents. Quickly, Ni, how are some development challenges being managed in La? Now, recently, I joined the police service to arrest some prostitutes or commercial sex workers at Apese. It also come to fore that many of the youngsters of La are abusing tramadol and then, you know, misleading our people and then it's becoming messy here in La and then other drug abuse. How are you tackling this issue? Um, to start with, um, in my quarter, um, the youth uh, together with the elders have taken it up. Uh, we have been telling them to advise or to deal with shun the company of those who are in drugs and then um, the uh, vices. Um, in time past, um, the last police commander that left uh, before this one came, we forged a collaboration with him. Uh, the youth, um, he did something like a community uh, watchdog uh, with our youth group and they were coming to town uh, to address um, the issues. Um, the new one just came. Um, I've had opportunity to meet her and we've discussed how we can work together uh, to stop those. So in the quarter, uh, we have taken steps in collaboration um, with the police. Uh, when we went there, their complaint was people coming to beg or to stand in for people when um, they are arrested. But um, um, I assured them that 
uh, I will tell my elders and me myself we wouldn't do that because if they are doing things that will uh, cause the retrogression of law, there is no need for us uh, to go and stand in for them. So in Matia Bonase, uh, we've told our youth, uh, we have a very vibrant um, uh, youth association and we've told them uh, to try and then um, talk to those who are in it if possible shun their company and report them not even possible once they see them they should report them um, to the police uh, with um, the brothel that is a prostitution it has uh, been a bane to us um, it has um, legal implications so it is good the police uh, have stepped in uh, when uh, i called on the commander i told her not only to deal with um, um, the corporates, but those who give out the um, rooms for rent as well. Because uh, if um, they don't give out their rooms um, to those people, that wouldn't happen. So they shouldn't only uh, focus on the corporate. So I think um, we, are, we are working on um, all those things. Um, we are also speaking to people on the trauma door issue. Um, we are trying to sensitize people as to the dangers and um, it will all boil down um, those who are closer to them. If you know someone, some, someone doing it, you have to find um, a way and then stop the person. I always tell my youth that the good ones are more than the bad ones. So you shun their company, try and make life uncomfortable for them within your midst. Once they see that, uh, they will have no reason to engage uh, in that. So I've told them the good ones uh, should try and then um, push uh, those things um, away from their midst. How about advising them rather than shunning them so they have positive influence on them? You have to advise. Uh, I started by saying we've been talking to them. So once you advise the person and the person is not yielding, uh, you have to shun the person. And if you need to report the person, uh, you have to report the person um, um, to the to the police. Okay. Yeah. Your my penultimate question: What's your vision for Matia Bonasi or your development plan, your blueprint for development within Mati Abonasi Quarter, and by extension La? Uh, for Mati Abonasi, um, first um, we need a stable quarter. Uh, without stability, uh, there can be no development. Uh, people see the issues uh, with Ajay Bwain as uh, not uh, being good for Mati, but it is not our doing. As I said, it's their doing, but that is not to say Mati is not stable. So um, I can say we have a stable and peaceful um, quarter for now. It is not that there are factions that when you come in, people are fighting that you cannot move to, but you can move freely. We all do everything uh, here freely. So um, in terms of development, um, I have the plan uh, for the quarter to be run uh, as a business. Uh, things that we get from what we give out should be managed prudently uh, for posterity. Our lands are getting finished, so um, we cannot say we always rely on land, but we should find a way of managing them so that those who come will have something. So the idea is anything, if we happen to give out anything, it will be um, a joint venture arrangement. And also, um, as I said, um, in streamlining the administration of the quarter, uh, leases have been given in the past. We have to have a good system to track them so that those that will expire, uh, if it uh, expires, you either extend it or it comes back to you. So a proper administration um, setup. If you don't have a proper administration system, management will be difficult. So aside the stability, that is key. And then we manage our things to get the most out of it. That is a plan for Matia Bonase. And with the youth, um, it seems... Um, things are getting bad. Uh, in times past, when you talk about education, La, I mean, was uh, one of uh, the top uh, towns in, in the Ghan state. Even you talk about um, sports, uh, when you talk about soccer, there were times that, I mean, we had uh, good players uh, from uh, La. But now it seems uh, things are getting bad and uh, my uh, vision is to shape the youth because it starts uh, from down there. If you don't get the youth uh, focused, 
um, they will be wayward. So uh, those that I deal with in my quarter, I always talk to them about how to manage themselves. And when there is a need for a program to be organized, um, we will do that. Um, during my fifth uh, anniversary, I announced a reading uh, project uh, that I want to do. That is in the pipeline. Um, I will do that so that uh, children can inculcate uh, the habit um, of reading. Also, on earthing their talents, we need to uh, organize events or programs that uh, we can use to unearth the talents um, um, of the kid. Because every kid has a talent, one way or the other. Either be in music, um, sports, I mean, um, other things, even writing, a lot. So we shouldn't allow those uh, talents uh, to go um, waste, okay. but it will take a collective um, effort. But um, I hope um, I'll get the support to, to, to uh, achieve that. Frankly, your ideas are great, but I'm wondering how you are going to have them done such that it wouldn't be mere talk as we are talking now. How are you going to make this happen? Will it be that in five years' time, in ten years' time, when I come over, or in three years' time, you would have started something? Yes, um, as I told you, um, they will all, all have to be achieved between uh, 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 by organizing programs or doing projects. So um, there are things that um, I have as blueprints. Um, I will take the steps uh, to do what I have to do to let them materialize. So, uh, in about how many years' time should I come and follow up? You mentioned three or five years. Uh, once you come um, during that time, I'm sure you you have um, something concrete. Within La Matia Bonasi, what's the role of the Shikiteli? The first um, Shikiteli of La and then the founder of the Matia Bonasi quarter, Ni Ajay Kofe, the first, founded the Matia Bonasi quarter. He is a custodian of everything that Matia Bonasi has. So he is the supreme head of the Matia Bonasi quarter. Um, about um, 50 or 60 years back, um, a position was created that is um, the Akuchoche uh, or headman. So he um, runs the quarter administratively under the uh, authority of the Shikiteli. That makes the Shikiteli the supreme head of the Matia Bonase quarter because the first Shikiteli was the founder of the Matia Bonase quarter and he superintends of, uh, over everything that Matia Bonase has. Proud to the 60 years you mentioned, uh, how was Matia Bonase quarter run? It was run, it was run under the authority of the Shikiteli solely before the inception of um, the uh, Akuchoche position. Um, I am the 20th um, Shikiteli. Mm -hmm. We've only had three uh, Akuchi Acheme in Mati uh, Abunase. Kota was run solely under the authority of the Shikiteli. He does um, everything, including grants of land uh, that belongs to Mati Abunase. Okay, so if the explanation is as simple as this, how come then there appears to be some concerns between you as the king maker of the Shikiteli and then the supreme father or leader of the Matia Bonase quarter and then the Akuchoche? Um, it is not about role conflict. Right. To state it clear, it is not about role conflict. Uh, my role is clearly defined. I am even above um, that role, so there is no way um, I will interfere or try to um, arrogate part of those responsibilities uh, to myself. What happened uh, between um, us and then um, the uh, one who claims to be chief uh, of the quarter, that is um, uh, Ni uh, Ajebuai, as he calls himself, was that when La attained paramountcy, it was agreed that um, the, the um, quarters uh, should be elevated to a divisional um, status. Previously, La was a division under the Gang Paramount. But when we attained uh, Paramount, it was agreed the quarters should also be elevated to divisions. If the quarters become divisions, their heads will now become chiefs. 
Now they were headmen, uh, they don't go through any rights of installation. So once the quota has been elevated to a division, then we have to make arrangements for them to go through rights uh, of um, uh, installation, for them to qualify as chiefs under the Chieftaincy Act. So word came from the traditional council to the quarters. I um, delivered that of Matia Bonase in the quarters meeting, and um, the lawyer uh, for the quarter by then um, said uh, there was no need for rights to be performed for Ni Ajay Boain, and that he has been gazetted, that um, he is already a chief. And uh, we all know that um, gazette doesn't make one a chief under the Chieftaincy Act. It clearly uh, states uh, when you go to section uh, uh, 57 of the Chieftaincy Act, that, um, which gives the definition of a chief, that um, a person who has been validly nominated, elected, selected, and stood or skinned under the relevant customary laws of the area consent. Nia Jebuai never passed through that. He acted for the then Akuchoche, who was by name, um, he's now late, um, Captain um, Taiwa Odamtin. He acted for him when he was leaving for further studies in abroad. So he didn't even, uh, he wasn't even appointed as a substantive uh, Akuchoche to even say um, he has been appointed, so he has gone through the rights. We have three ruling houses in the Matia Bonase quarter. The Premier House, which is uh, where we are, um, that is the Konya Dui House, is the first ruling house, that is the Premier House. The second ruling house is the, uh, uh, is the new Puti Kumawi House. And then the um, third ruling house is the Nibo Sekrewe House. That is where Nia J. Uh, comes from. That is where uh, the late Captain Tayo Odamton also come from. The first Akuchoche, uh, I've told you um, since the inception of Mbati, we've only had three Akuchi uh, chairman. The first one uh, was um, from this house, that is um, Nikoni Adui. The second one was from the Opotikumawe house. The third one was from Nibo Sekrewe. So when he was leaving for further studies, that is when um, uh, Nia Jibuai was asked to act in his stead. So even if you look at the succession uh, plan or the rule, uh, you cannot uh, have two people coming from the same house in succession. So if Captain Tayo Adamton came from Nibo Sekrewe, how come um, he is also claiming to be um, the Akuchoche of that uh, uh, house, uh, from that house? His own house, when I raised the um, issue, after I raised the issue at the quarters meeting, his own house, where he comes from, wrote a letter to me that he is not a chief. He has not gone through what he has to go through to be a chief. And How come he was gazetted? Um, you know, we are... Being, in, being gazetted then means that you've been acknowledged. You know, um, some of the lapses in our system, in our part, uh, in the systems of our part of the world. Uh, people can find their way um, to do things. You know, people can find their way to do things. But in traditional affairs in La, at least for some time, he's been acknowledged as the Akuchoche from Matia Bonasi. Yeah, he has been, he has been acknowledged. But the substance for you to become a chief is for you to have gone through the rights, selected uh, appropriately. Talking about as stated by the Chieftaincy Act, yes. to, to qualify one to be called a chief for your traditional rights, which uh, one is that? Then with the Chieftaincy uh, Act, if you've not gone through the traditional rights, as I said, the Chieftaincy has states you have to be uh, validly um, uh, selected, elected, nominated, and then stood or skinned. And that you the mentioned that being a headman, then you, you needed not to go through yes. such rights. Yes. So yes. we are dealing with a past issue or issue which happened in past times and not as it is now. Yes. So even if um, he's supposed to go through the rights to um, become who under the chieftaincy, his own house kicked against it that he is not the substantive. And uh, as I said, since house acknowledged him as acting or to be the they acting they, they acknowledge him as uh, uh, acting. he is claiming to be a substantive 
and a chief, meaning he has gone through right. You cannot be a chief if you have not gone through right. That is his issue. And his own house is claiming that he hasn't gone through the right and he is not even the right person because if we accept him to be the right person, it will mean that his house have had two chances or have had two occasions to serve, which is not in accordance with the um, succession rotation rules of the Matia Bonase quarter. Before your installment or installation or coronation as the Shikiteli, he was the one, you acknowledged him as the quarter head and then he performed, he over, saw every right to ensure your successful installation. Then you turn your back against him. As I said, it's not about a uh, rule conflict. He was the acting Akucho chair by then, so he can lead in the performance of the quarter's uh, work. That doesn't mean if the right thing is not being done or, or the wrong thing has been done, we should look on. I've not turned myself against him that he didn't install me. Even installation is not done solely by him. They've done, they've done a publication, uh, which is on the net, that um, Nia Jebwa is chief of Ngati. When I called the meeting, he caused his lawyer to write a letter, a very scathing one indeed, to me, that I have provided a platform for his client to be defamed. That is a quarter's lawyer, which was very surprising. Then... Now they are claiming that at the said meeting, I accepted that he was the Akuchoche. That is the one that I came to meet and working with. Does that amount to defamation? If you, in one breath, you are saying I've caused or uh, given platform for your client to be defamed, and what you are claiming he was defamed about, you are now saying that I confirm that. I mean, that's highly contradictory, and that is high, highly contradictory. And, uh, I mean, not right. You know, what happened at that meeting was, I invited the elders of his house who brought the issue, right? And what I told them, I had been freshly uh, in in installed at the time. Now, since I came, he was the one I knew as a Kuchoche. And also, he's been gazetted, to my knowledge. That's what I told them. So, we sent for him to also talk to him that the issue is from his house. So we should find an amicable way of solving it with the people from his house. That was when his lawyer, who happens to be the lawyer of the quarter, wrote to me that I have provided the uh, avenue or forum for people to malign and defame his client, that his client shouldn't attend to our call, the elders are calling you and the supreme head. Then your lawyer, who happens to be the quarter's lawyer, decide that you shouldn't uh, come. That was what the lawyer said. We didn't relent on that. We still went on. I wrote back to the lawyer that I never provided any forum for him to be defamed and stated the facts as um, things went. And I threw an olive branch to him that I am for peace. You know, we were on good terms. I told him, even if I call him the lawyer and he doesn't pick, even when it is late, he will call back. But when I received his letter and even calling to ask him that, lawyer, why this? He didn't pick. So I told him in my letter, in due course, we'll finish you with copies that this um, what has happened. But we can still go on and then uh, uh, sit. A committee was formed, even without our knowledge. Later that they told us. As the committee was doing its work. Then they started issuing suits. Before they will issue the suit, a meeting was called, right, with the elders and then um, um, Nia Jibwai to find um, a way of resolving the issue. At the said meeting, he said his lawyer said he cannot come to this house. If the meeting will be in this house, it cannot come. And this has been the meeting place of the quarter and even La since times past. This is the premier house of the Matia Bonase quarter. And this is where I rule. So if you are saying you are not coming for the meeting here, you want me to move with my elders to 
a place of your choice. I told them, no, I'm not doing that. That was when Nia Jibwa and his children started um, saying um, unsavory things in front of the elders against me. And the elders said, no, they cannot go and take this behavior. So they called the meeting and decided to relieve him of his position as the acting uh, Akuchoche. So not that we did nothing about it, we tried um, our best, but they were dragging things. And it turned out that he and his children exhibited gross disrespect to me and the elders. Uh, some of the things we cannot say. And so the elders said, well, we cannot do this. He even tried uh, to come and beg, but as things were going on, um, his lawyer issued a suit that we have stolen the quarter's letterhead, that the decision that uh, we've removed them should be quashed. You people said you have a committee. In their publication, they named the committee. You said there is a committee to work. Then you started suing. How can we sit? We cannot sit. The last one, uh, as I mentioned, the late Captain Tayo Odamtin, who on record was um, rightly installed as the Akuchoche of uh, Matia Bonase, hailed from Nibo Sekrewe. So from there, it is coming to um, Kone Adui, where we are now, and it is known by everyone. There is um, um, a saying in La that everybody uh, tells the issue of La, depending on where the person is coming from. But to assure you, um, there are documents uh, to uh, attest to what the historical facts are. So if you are truthful, uh, you will be able to uh, find out um, the truth. Um, because of our position um, as the Shikiteli, which people have issues with, we have most of the times been at the receiving end uh, on these issues. But we have the facts. We've always proved them wrong on that since uh, uh, time immemorial. So people should follow the truth and learn. They should learn. Uh, learn to get the facts, you know, learn to get the facts. Also in terms of um, development, uh, we have to um, have the town at heart. If you are appointed to oversee something that belongs to the town, the town should come first. You shouldn't go there to amass a uh, wealth. We've had issues like that, that when people are uh, appointed to oversee things that belong to the people. They uh, try and then arrogate the benefits or uh, take everything um, away to the detriment of development of the town. That is not uh, good for us. So discipline, truth, and I mean, we should be selfless, uh, work uh, for the benefit um, of uh, the La township. And lastly, um, I call for unity, you know. Um, we, we, are, we are one people, but we have um, differences. So I think uh, when the differences arise, we should find a very peaceful means of resolving uh, those differences than to resort to um, uh, acts that will bring um, uh, instability or I mean, fight uh, amongst us. Okay. Your last statement actually reminded me of something which I want to see clarification on. Aside being the kingmaker, I have seen in one of your documents that you deputize Nila in his absence. And then the Anao people through the Mankralo are also saying that Mankralo deputizes Nila, which is the appropriate thing. Um, we provided documents and a court judgment to that effect. We've provided evidence of what has happened in the past. Um, anyone who has any contrary view, we've asked the person or those people to also bring um, their facts. Yes, there is an issue like that. Um, we will take it up. Um, it has already been uh, raised at the traditional council, but we, as Matia Bonase and where the Shikiteli comes from, knows our position, La knows. So we will use uh, what we have, as I said, our judgments uh, and documents uh, to uh, prove that at the appropriate form. In La Traditional Affairs, the Shikiteli deputizes next in command. Yes, uh, when, when, when the stool is vacant, or even in the, it, it even says in the absence of the chief, 
in the absence, the Shikiteli should be the acting manager. And it is something that we've exercised in time past. Uh, we have documents uh, to that effect. So, um, as I said, that is the position. That is what is on record. Um, anybody who has um, anything contrary um, will sit and talk. I am the priest of the Jobu Shrine and I perform my duties as a priest as it is required. We visit the shrine once every month and I've not absented or missed any since I was installed. And I do positions that you're rather focusing on your official, really as in the administrative or your leadership duties. Totally unfounded. You know, people even um, had concerns whether uh, an educated person can do that. Um, that is part of my duties as a Shikiteli. So I do it and I do it well. I've not relegated that. So, I mean, everybody can attest. You see, they were laughing uh, when you even raised that. Those who are not in view, but they are here with us. So, um, um, as I said, all the top chiefs in La are Wulome, double as the Wulome. As I said, I am the Jobu Wulomo. The Mankralo is Okumaga Wulomo. The Mancha is supposed to be the Nyumocha Wulomo. But that has been separated. The Nyumocha and Mancha one has been separated. You know, um, we are maintaining um, um, ours because um, as the head you are the spiritual leader as well and your spirit has its foundation from your deity and you as the head or the priest should be the one who should be the first point of call you are the closest person uh, to the deity so um, we don't see the need uh, to separate uh, that because um, to say um, you are the embodiment of um, the deity, so you being the leader, there is no need uh, for you to detach yourself uh, from the deity. Yeah, as well, um, with our stool too, I perform the stool rites, uh, that is yearly, you know, so um, you being the leader or the um, um, Shikiteli, you are the one who lead the performance of the two rights because they call the, um, um, the Shikiteli as a secretary. Some of them say we do not have a two, but we have we have a two. Thank you very much for this opportunity. You've heard from the kingmaker of La, that is Ni Ajayi Kofe IV, explaining issues pertaining his quarter, that is the Ngbati Abunasi quarter, and then by extension, the last day, there are several nuggets that I'm sure you would certainly pick from and then let it serve as a guide for you. In due time, we shall revisit and then look at the way forward. My name, once again, is Gabriel Ni Obudai Togbo Ashon. Thanks for watching.